Good morning, beautiful people in the Soul Relaunch Society. Good, good morning on this Good Friday. And happy Easter on Sunday. We're going to have the soul time Sunday evening and the, the festival of the divine feminine. So we're going to bring in some of, um, some fun sacred feminine energy work is what we're going to do on Sunday night. Um, and talk a little bit about Easter and what it means and how we can use it, um, as a time to do some soul work, right? Bring in some Jesus into our lives. And so when you, uh, if you're hopping on, if you're able to hang out with me for a minute, this wasn't planned or anything. Um, but something happened yesterday that I feel like that I wanted to jump on and talk to you guys last night right away. Um, but I slept on it. Um, I just had some realizations over the last, well, yesterday, a big realization or a big, um, I don't know. It was like God's way of reminding me why I'm doing this work. And it can sometimes, um, if you are doing any active healing work, you're in the healer circle, then you know how sometimes we can get a lot of judgment and, and push back from our friends and stuff like that, which is, this isn't what this is going to be about. What this is about, um, is paying attention to our mental health and, um, I might be a little crazy with the mindset stuff, right? I'm, I'm a, I'm a fanatic <laughs> when it comes to working with the mind and learning about how, why we think the way we do, but how to control the mind. I never knew it was possible. And I know some of you might not know my story, but I struggled with depression and anxiety um, and addiction for almost 20 years. Um, a little less than 20 years, maybe like 18 years, but it was just, I was on Zoloft and Citalopram and saw therapists and I was just not happy. And I remember the first thing that happened in my life where I felt this depression was when I was 12 and my parents got divorced and I started, you know, my monthly, my went through puberty, started my period and I had a headache for three weeks like just straight up three weeks, it never stopped. I didn't even, I had to do school work at home. I remember my dad taking us to the movie theater and we had to leave because my, I could not, that I just couldn't be there. My head hurt so bad. And it was because my hormones and everything were going crazy. But, um, the only resolution was medicine, right? It was what my doctor gave me medicine, medicine, medicine. And so I took Zoloft for a while and then I took I was just going in between other ones throughout my life. And then, um, citalopram was a big one for me. I liked that one actually. And then I started liking pain pills when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, uh, when I was 21. And after that, it was just on, <laughs> I, they, they gave me energy and they made me feel good. They made me feel so good. And I had been so sad, right? I had been so unhappy, uh, for most of my life. But then I was also, I mean, I've always been this like free spirit of some sort. Like I've always loved to have fun and, and laugh and stuff. But then I remember the days where I didn't want to talk to anybody. And then when I became a mom, it was like double hard. So something happened yesterday. Um, my boyfriend is a drywall contractor. I'll just get to it here. And he Sir, he has one of his customers. He had a customer, a lady. She's 43. She's a mom. Um, and this was like a couple months ago. Um, and he just did a little bit of work for her. But he went to talk to her last night or reach out to her or something. And he was told that she shot herself and killed herself um, yesterday morning, I think. I don't know what, exactly what time it was. <sighs> and, um, it was because her daughter, she has a child. I don't, I think maybe she has a couple more. I don't know. I don't know her very well. And so I'm not going to share her name, but, um, her daughter or a child was going to live with their father. And after they left, she shot herself. 
she was so depressed and she didn't see any reason for living anymore. And th that's why I do my work. That's it. And so if I am, oh, no, sm no, Smokey. So if I am annoying, if I'm annoying about this mindset stuff, if I am too in your face, oh, Smokey, look at him. Smokey, look at my lip. Look, he's so beautiful, isn't he? Uh huh. Smoke, smokes. You okay, baby? He's like, I don't want to come out here. Okay, honey, here. Okay, but so I might be a little crazy with the mindset stuff. I might be a little too in your face sometimes. Um, I might ha I might have sent you a message if I if you wrote a post about being sad or unhappy and overwhelmed and and you wanted to be happy and I probably sent you a message and then it might have annoyed you um, and you might have said no I'm okay because we don't want we don't want to appear as if we are not okay um, but I might have done that I probably did and you know what I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. If you post something about being sad and stressed and unhappy and you're a mom and even all people, not just moms, but that is why I do the work I do. You guys, this is it. Like she ended her life because she didn't see anything worth living anymore. No meaning all because of thoughts that were in her head, right? All because of her telling herself that she wasn't enough and I don't know her I don't know her I never met her actually but I just know that um, we just have a connection through through David but to kill yourself because your child is going somewhere else that right there is that's our meaning this is why I do this this is why I'm in your face about taking control of how you think and taking control of your energy and how you feel because guess what I did it I did this work and yes I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna say that I did this I was where you're at if you are in depression and you have more bad days than good if you are literally just putting a mask on every day to go to work and to be a nor be a good mom take the fucking mask off just fucking take it off that is what this group is for you don't need to pretend you will not be judged ever. You're not judged. You're not judged. And I feel this is what she went through. She felt judged. She, her daughter was going to live somewhere else. <sighs> and it is, I'm processing it today because this is why I'm here. And this is why I'm going to be in your face helping you and telling you I'm here when you're ready to feel better. And I know not everyone's ready when they hear me and talk about all of my energy stuff and, and, and whatever and crystals and taking control of our mind. And you might think that it's just a bullshit. It's not bullshit. I am living proof of that. If I can do it, everyone can do it. Trust me. And so if you feel if your mental health has gotten to a place where you just don't have any desire to show up in your life, please send me a message. Please, like I'm begging you, please send me a message because like this is what I'm here to prevent or at least try to prevent. Hi, Sarah. Um, good morning. I'm talking about a uh, lady who a mom who shot and killed herself yesterday and um, because her daughter was going to live with someone else or her child was and she was just didn't have any meaning in her life and this is why I'm a fanatic about mindset work and energy work this is it because of things like that she was 43 43 43 that's it and, and, and of course, there's probably more to it. But from outside, I see a mom who felt like she was a bad mom and people judged her or whatever. I don't know. But she took her life. Do you guys understand how 
severe this is. Mental health is no, not a fucking joke. And so when you're able to get behind it and figure out how to take control of the way you think, because I know what thoughts she was thinking, because I've thought them, I've thought about it before, of just not having meaning in life anymore. This was before my awakening, right? This is when I was very depressed and um, grabbing anything that helped me feel better, pills or whatever, because I wanted to feel better. And so when you can figure out and you take control of how you feel, I'm going to be in your fucking face for the rest of your life. Honestly, if you really want to know that this is why I'm here because she was 43 and shot and killed herself because her, her kid was going somewhere else. It's just like, you guys, this is why, this is why I'm going to be in your face about your mind. Because our minds can take us over and make us feel like we don't have a meaning in life anymore when our kid goes somewhere else. And just please know that that's not true. And so, yeah, I'll be annoying <laughs> and I'll show up every day and I will continue doing this and I don't care who I annoy. I don't care if I see you post something about not being happy, I will be in your inbox. Okay. Like I have been, and I know it like turns some people off because they're like, no, I'm fine when I ask them, even though they just posted it, right? Because mental health is not a fucking joke. Like I, I, I dealt with it and probably everyone on here has. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Steph. <laughs> and you guys are like, you guys are all moms. Steph, you're pregnant. You're about to have a little baby boy. Can you imagine like being at the bottom of rock bottom and just being like, I have no meaning because my daughter doesn't want to live with me anymore. Like that was why I, like I can hear the thoughts going in her head and she didn't know that you can actually control those, right? People don't know what they don't know. And so that's why I just cannot stop talking about it. And I was, I was actually questioning myself up until yesterday of like, what, what am I doing? And is this what I'm I know this is what I'm supposed to do because or else I wouldn't be doing it. But I was a little frustrated. And then that happened. <laughs> and David was like, oh my gosh, so-and-so, I'm not going to say her name, but she killed herself. And like, we had just, he was over there like a month and a half ago, two months ago. Right. And then he told me why. And I'm just like, this is why I have my group. This is why. Like, so if you guys know anyone who's just like, I don't have meaning in my life anymore. Um, because think about the kids, right? Like her kids, I think she had other ones, but like at 43. And so please just stick around. <laughs> please stay in here and please reach out to me. If you are so depressed, you just don't want to go on. If you just put a mask on to go to, to leave your house, like a pretend mask. So everybody thinks you have your shit together. Please message me. Okay. Because you don't need that in here at all. And so, um, Oh, Smokey, Smokey is out now. Smokey, come here, come here, come here, baby. Come here. My cat just got out. Hold on guys. But we're going to do an energy healing tag. I'm going to stop crying and all this, but like, this is real shit. Like this is not little peddly mindset training here and there. No, like it is fucking like important. If it's the only thing you do in your life, learn to control your mind. Because what if she had learned, what if she had just learned what we're learning and what we learn, right? About controlling our thoughts, about checking in with how we're feeling and knowing that they're not us. Nor People don't know that because this shit's not taught in school. People think that their emotions are a part of them. They are them. And if they are sad or if they cry, like I just cried, right? Then that means that's like an extension of your, or whatever. That me we, The meanings that we give things, which this was on Wednesday. If you guys have not watched the training from Wednesday, it's about changing your perceptions and reframing situations to find the silver lining. So then you feel better. It's about feeling better. And, and then the energy work is even goes underneath all of that. And so that's why 
we're going to do. I'm going to just do this. I'm going to kind of demonstrate to you guys what it is that I do every day. Well, maybe not every day. That's a little, but at least three or four times a week, okay, of doing what I'm about. I'm going to show you. And I put the graphic up the other day. Oh, look, he's back. Come here, honey. He came back to me. This is Smokey. I love him so much. Lindsay, if Lindsay watches this, she wants she wants him. <laughs> Lindsay, one of my clients. Okay, go in there. Go in there, baby. All right, so let's get to it. So with energy, with this energy healing, um, and to and 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 just to say, if you guys are having a hard time with life, please reach out to me right now. Please, let's do this, okay? <laughs> like, no, we we have important work to do. Like, we need to get out of our heads and 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 control it okay but and okay so this energy healing thing sarah you kind of already know it you it's been i've taught it many times i've shown you guys but the first thing when you want to do energy healing is to relax that's how energy moves in our body okay so just taking a couple deep breaths and just breathing okay and i do this in the morning sometimes i do it at night but i go a little differently at night so then and i'm teaching izzy something i'm gonna do another live about that for kids energy healing for kids because i've been working with izzy and it's it's super fun you guys would i would love you're gonna love it i'm gonna do another one though because i want it to be separate than this so but with this energy healing technique that's going to help you what's going to happen is with energy work because they're like, oh, you're talking about the mind, but now you're talking about energy. Well, our thoughts are energy. So when when you're thinking something of like, I'm not a good mom, or I'm or you know, I'm not good at my job, or I suck at this, or I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna make, you know, I'm always gonna struggle. Whatever those things are that are like go those thoughts in your head, <sighs> just take a deep breath and just that's it, right? Like you don't even have to close your eyes, but just take a deep breath in. And go outside and do it. It's beautiful today. It's absolutely gorgeous out today in Indiana. <laughs> Thank God. Sarah, don't say anything because you're in Florida. You've had nice days. <laughs> but just taking a deep breath, getting your feet in the grass, um, getting like I have, I've been carrying this around all morning, <laughs> my rose quartz wand, because I have needed it, processing that information. Um, and so just taking a deep breath and relaxing, grounding your feet into the, just putting your awareness in your feet, <sighs> connecting to the earth. And then what I do is let go. I let go of anything that I'm, that I'm thinking in the moment. I'm just like in this present moment, I grab a crystal and I get present. You got to get present. You relax, you get present, you ground. You get in the moment right here. You can even do that if you want or just <sighs> breathe. And then what I like to do is I start at the top of my head and I do a body scan. I go down my face and, and you guys can listen to a progressive relaxation if you want. Um, you might think this will make you sleepy, but that's not the point of relaxation. Okay. We'll talk more about that later if you'd like. But um, then you just do a body scan. I like to go down and see where I'm holding any tension in my body. And then I just push it down, right? And you guys might, depending on how long you've been in this group, it might sound funny to you, but it's it really works and it is actually doing something. And so pushing that energy down, like I feel something in my back, or I did. And so you just visualize it going down or not visualize anything. Right now, I don't even care. I just want you to relax, let go of your stuff for just like a second or 30 seconds, a minute having no expectations for anything, just letting go of judgments and words and opinions and all of that and just cutting off and going inward and then focusing your attention on your feet. And then I visualize bringing energy up through my root chakra, into my sacral, into my solar plexus, into my heart, into my throat, into my third eye, into my crown. But, and it's, if you know the chakras, awesome. If not, that's okay. Um, what I do, a little advanced there, is when I go to my root, I say I let go of fear today and I'm choosing love. I am choosing love over fear. I'm clearing it out. I see that red color, doesn't even matter. I focus it here, of course, and I start, start to get it going, getting grounded. You're getting that root chakra to where you feel safe and secure and um and trusting and, and being able to surrender okay and then moving up to the solar the sacral <sighs> letting go of shame oh 
like letting go of shame. You guys understand shame is not even really about us. It's, 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 it's the way that we think other people are looking at seeing in us, you know? So like the lady that I'm talking about that took her life because she, um, didn't have any meaning because her child wasn't going to be around anymore and going to the dads, right? She was telling herself, what is this going to look like? I mean, I can just hear her. What is this going to look like that my daughter wants to go live with someone else? Like I felt that for her because I felt that with Avon when he wanted to go, I felt that. And so just letting go of that shame of how we think other people see us, how we think other people are judging us. We don't know. We just think that they are. It's our insecurities. So letting go of those insecurities, seeing that orange light at your womb. Again, you don't have to close your eyes. You just, you can just open them and, and, and just listen to me as I'm saying this if you want to. Um, and then going up to the solar plexus, letting go of that self-doubt. <gasps> Hi, Darla. I meant to text you before here because I want to I wanna call. We need to have a call after this. I need I need some Darla time um, if, if we can. And so solar plexus, letting go of that doubt. And with the shame, the, the sacral, you're letting go of the shame. You're embracing your, your creativity and you're embracing the, your sexuality and sensuality. You are a sexy woman. You're a sexy mom. <laughs> you are beautiful. You deserve to experience pleasure in life and joy and having a spark in your step. And so that's in the sacral and then solar plexus, letting go of doubt, embracing confidence, seeing that sun right here, that yellow, whatever it is, then moving up to the heart. And this is green and pink. So I mean, I have rose quartz right here and just letting go of resentment and grudges against ourselves. Um, and embracing unconditional love and self-compassion and appreciation, having compassion. I mean, like that's coming up so much right now because I'm sure the, the mom, the, the lady that took her life yesterday, wasn't, ha she didn't have any compassion for herself, right? She felt shameful <laughs> because of her daughter, um, wanting to go live with the dad. And so sh having compassion for ourselves shifts our energy and like, millisecond, right? You can even feel it when you're, when you're being so hard on yourself and then someone just tells you, I give you permission right now. I give you permission to just have compassion for yourself, forgive yourself. Okay. And then going up to the throat. And this is so important here, letting go of dishonesty. I'm sure that she was lying to herself, um, about what well, she was about the things that she thought were happening. You guys, this comes back to our mind. Like, because she thought those thoughts were real, they thought she thought that those thoughts were actually her and that she was just the scum of the earth and she had no meaning in her life anymore. It's just, it's breaking my heart and that's why I have to come on here and talk to you guys because I know why I'm doing this work and more, more than ever actually right now. Um, and it's sad that a traumatic thing had to happen, but, um, but anyway, so our throat, letting go of dishonesty and embracing honesty and embracing our truth and stop, take the mask off. Just take the fucking mask off today, okay? And be who you are instead of trying to be what other people want you to be, okay? And speak that truth, talk about it, do a freaking live in here if you want. I would love it if someone else did a live in here because it's actually therapeutic. It helps you release your shit <laughs> or like what you think is wrong with you, right? What we think is wrong with us. And so moving up to the third eye, just letting go of illusions, <sighs> the illusions. This goes with Wednesday mindset, uh, magic number three, right? It's about working with our third eye to get those, th those stories, right? We're creating new stories in this group. That's what we're going to really dive into is creating new stories to repeat to people instead of the ones that we are. So the third eye is about getting rid of the illusion, um, getting and embracing the, uh, the intuition, right? The in intuitive parts of us that we ignore and so really embracing that but also knowing that you can you're 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 either over imagining things or over exaggerating or or whatever okay we're not doing that today so clearing out the third eye and then finally the crown 
as we brought that energy up and we cleared our chakras and balanced them and aligned them and now we're letting go of the disconnection the separateness that puts us into depression i'm sure this is where she was right she was depressed she was separate she wasn't as good as everyone else or she's like other moms right or whatever it was but she felt separate because when we don't we're all connected. We're all connected in this. What we're doing right now, and the reason that we're able to feel each other's energy over video is because we are all connected. Um, it's just magnificent. And so opening up that crown, opening that up, connecting and getting the energy down from the heavens, from source, from the divine, from your higher guidance, whatever you want to say, but you are literally connecting those two energies in, your, in our heart. And so now we are connected to both. And I create a shield around myself, around my auric field. I say nothing but love and light can come in, nothing but love and light can go out, and no one can connect to my energy unless I allow them, unless I give them my permission. I say that almost every day. And, and the days I don't do it are shitty days. <laughs> because then anyone, because our mind, we can command our energy. We have to tell it what to do. Like literally, that's what we have to do. That's where intention comes in. And that's it. This is what I'm teaching Izzy. I'll go ahead and tell you guys what, I, what I've been teaching Izzy or working with Izzy about. When she has anxiety, she has anxiety a lot at school. And at home, she'll have anxiety. And I will have her, like last night, I, I did some little energy work on her, her where I'll put my hands just like on her feet. And I'll have her imagine a waterfall or glitter or something kid-like, right? Or like honey. She likes the honey one. But I just have her visualize that or just to, to see it, even with her eyes open. I'm like, think of a waterfall. And it's just cleansing and pushing all that negative energy down. And it's transmuting into positive energy. But when she's at school, I told her when she starts to feel anxious to, to pay attention, like just kind of take a breath and, and feel her feet on the ground, right? Just feel your shoes, wiggle your toes. Place your awareness in your feet, and then I then she imagines the waterfall coming over her and help you know, pushing that energy down. And, and she did it yesterday. She said at school, so um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. But and then I I'm getting into teaching her about shielding, but she's like what? <laughs> so I can't. It's like you know she's nine, so I have to be really careful about you know they don't quite understand. So we make it kid like, and we can teach our kids. We can teach our kids energy healing. Um, Hi, Shara. So, so I don't know, uh, Shara, she's from around here and Sarah, you are too. And Darla, I don't know if you guys would know the lady that this happened to yesterday. Um, I'm sure you already, it's probably on, I'm sure somebody else knows who I'm talking about right now, but I will not say her name. Um, this is why we're here. Okay. This is why we're doing this mindset work is so we don't end up wanting to leave this earth by our own hands, right? Because we just have no other option. Living isn't an option because it feels horrible, right? We got to change that. And we can even, I'm starting an Izzy really, really soon. She's going to grow up with this information. And so, okay guys. And so I have these, if you guys want a flower card today, um, I love these little, there's these little flower petals. I had a client, um, get them for me. A couple months ago, she gave them to me, and I love them because they're simple. And I think they were, I'm not sure where she got them at, but like TJ Maxx or something is kind of what it looks like. But let me know if you want a card, a flower card. I'm going to pull one for myself because I have it. Um, and they're just really simple. And flowers are actually very, like, the homeopathic um, uses of it and the like the flower medicine and stuff like that. But we actually heal on... Like flower, what was that Bach thing, Darlo? What was that Bach flower thing that I heard was like that helps us heal on an energetic level? Um, energetic level, it's like light and light. Uh, light is how we heal on the energetic level. And then sound is the spiritual level. And then on the physical level, it's like medicine. And then there's like flower, like herbs and stuff, right? So we're going to get into that uh, in the next probably next month where I want to really do some, um, I want to do some work with like herbs and get into like the herbal stuff, right? I don't know much about it either. Uh, and anybody that does, please, Sarah, do you, and Darla, you know, like, let me know if you guys, 
know about like the, the, the flower remedies. Okay. All right. So Darla, here we go. And then I'll get off of here. Um, it was just a chit chat about why we have to do this work and we're so important. You guys have your healers too. Sarah, you're a healer. Darla, you're a healer. You guys are light workers. You have a purpose. You have a reason, specific reason that God is like, Hey, this is your job. This is your job. And yes, I'm here to help you figure that out and how to start doing it. You're already doing it by the way, <laughs> all of you, but to actually know like, okay, this is my calling and I'm here and this is how I'm going to save the world. And, <laughs> but I, that happened yesterday and I, cause I started to doubt myself. I didn't, didn't need to have, that didn't need to happen. But anyway, I just wanted to share that because it's super important. Okay. Darla snowdrop is yours. Snowdrop tomorrow brings the illumination of your hopes. Ooh, I like this one. Tomorrow brings the illumination of your hopes and it is a snowdrop. You might want to look that up and see what else the meanings are or for that snowdrop. Galanthus nivalis. You can see it. So tomorrow brings the illumination of your hopes. So always thinking of that, like even just writing that down and then what comes to you and your intuition, what comes to you with that, with, with, um, tomorrow brings illumination of your hopes, shining a light on there. All right, Sarah, here you go. Let's see here. Oh, Lily, good partnerships are made of equal amounts of positivity. So I wonder what that's saying. Lily, Lilium, good partnerships are made of equal amounts of positivity. So is there like a unbalance in the positivity <laughs> with you and Billy? But there's that. So look up the flowers. Here, I'm going to pull mine. I didn't pull mine. I'll pull it and see what I get here. Oh, ooh, hyacinth. Play, laugh, and find joy. I like this one. Hy hyacinth. Play, laugh, and find joy. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. And so, all right, ladies. Well, have a good day. If you did not watch the Mindset Magic on thir on Wednesday, it's about reframing our situations and, and, and our things. And please, 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 like, please understand how it may not be. Like, you might be like, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking some of you don't think it's that important um, to take control of our mind. Or maybe you don't believe that it's possible. Whatever it is, whatever comes up for you when you start to do mindset work, whatever, if you, you reach out to me, tell me, like, I'm here for you. I am literally here to support all of you with doing this work because if you don't feel like you have meaning in your, in your day, then it's gonna, you know, just like she did, right? Just like the lady that shot, that shot and killed herself yesterday, right? She didn't have a meeting anymore. And she was only 43. Oh, hi, Megan. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, so I got, so God's like, you need, this is why you're doing mindset. This is why you're teaching. Because I'm like, I love to learn. And Megan and I just talked yesterday, like about how much, like, I just want to learn. I just want to share everything. And I started to feel like, you know, what am I doing? Or is this is this even doing anything for people? And then the news, that news came in that, um, David's client had killed herself, um, because her daughter was going to live or her child was going to live with, um, her, the dad. And I felt her pain, um, because Avon did that. Right. And so when we, and so with moms, it's so easy that when our kids grow up, and move out of the house when our kids do something and we don't feel like we're of use anymore. She, you know, maybe I know that's how she was, she was feeling, which I asked David if he noticed anything with her and he thought that it was just the way she was. And, um, in her last message on Facebook or her post was father, please forgive me. Like she got to that place where the whole time she could have learned like, to control her thoughts. Right. And so please know that that's why I might be up in your inbox. <laughs> if you post that you're, that you're unhappy or sad or going through a hard time, because as Megan knows, I think like the, one of the first times with, with Megan, I would, I told her, I'm like, I reach out when I see these posts because, and the reason that I do that, you guys, it's not because I'm like, Hey, I'm a coach and I can help you feel better. You know, I can do all this stuff for you. No, it's because I've been there. 
I've been there. I've been there where I just did not even want to go anywhere. I wanted to just stay in my bed and sleep as much as I could and take whatever pills would help me go to sleep. And then I take pills to speed up, right? Or I drink something or, and I thought that it was out of my control. And so I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to be annoying. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I, I don't care anymore if I'm overstepping anything. I am going to check on you if you post something like that because, because what happened. And so thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Megan, do you want a flower card? Yes, you want to share. I know I, I am. I was started, but I, sometimes I just, I just, I, uh, and you know what I mean with this. We know how important this work is. Megan and I do, and Darla knows, and, and Sarah. You guys know how important this is, but 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 we we can like allow judgments and opinions and um, lack of acknowledgement, right? Even that's my ego. <laughs> it's all my ego stuff, and I'm just being honest with you guys. That's how I feel um, because this is so mindset work. Everybody wants to feel better, but they, some people just want it to be a magic pill, right? That's what we want. Instant gratification. And just remember that if you're feeling like you don't have meaning in your life, please just reach out to me or Megan. She's a, she's my coach. <laughs> so reach out to somebody or a friend because that's, that it can, it'll get better. I promise. Um, Megan, I'm going to pull a flower card for you before I get off of here, just because I want to, oh, orchid, you got an orchid, <laughs> your uniqueness is always perfectly lovely, oh, I love it, so look, yeah, and if you know more about an orchid, looking it up, right, your story is inspiring, thank you, I know, and thank you for saying, I know it is inspiring, I know it's inspiring, but um, just like everything, you know, but then it's like, we're so passionate about it. And we're just like, we know how this will change your life. Listen to us. <laughs> Healing is the most important work. Yes, it is absolutely the most important work. And so, so anyway, okay, guys, I love you. Thanks for hanging out um, with me and just listening to, and, and just please let me know if you are not like mentally, if you need anything, like you have a purpose for being here and that's what we're going to find out and by being a part of this group and in the mindset magic. And so next Wednesday is number four. It's the last of the series and we are going to pretty much tie everything together, but we're really going to talk about being stuck in indecision and like how we can shift that and actually use that, um, as a way to heal and rise. And also my, so my energy healing technique that I just did, I showed you guys just relaxing. You can pull up that energy through your chakras. And, um, this is kind of, Megan taught me this with the heaven and earth thing. So it's kind of, it's funny. Um, but it's kind of something I've been doing, but it, it wasn't the exact same. So now I've added some stuff in it with Megan's heaven and earth. Actually, Darla, that's on here. I did it with Darla and she's really good with Darla likes to move her body. And, um, so she was doing all the going up and then bringing that and then mixing it up in our heart. And now it's glowing and now we are ready for the day. So, okay, guys, have a good day, and I will see you on Sunday night. Sunday night is the soul time, and it's the Festival of the Divine Feminine because it's Easter, and there's a lot of good stuff behind all of that. And we're talking about Jesus. Jesus will be there as well. <laughs> so, okay, guys, have a good day. Bye.